So we're here at the John Wesley Powell Museum, the first stop on our birthday trip for Mark. Turn around, Mark, say hi. Happy hi. birthday. <laughs> His birthday was actually in December, but we're finally getting out. So it's kind of an interesting little museum. If you're ever curious about John Wesley Powell and the Colorado River, that kind of thing. Uh, it's a lot of fun. All right, everybody, here we are. <laughs> We're on this little trip, me and my sweetheart. We're having a weekend away from home in southern Utah in a little town called Moab, Utah. It's not really that little of a town, but it is a huge center for recreation in Utah. It's really close to several of the national parks. There's five national parks in Utah. Uh, we are gonna be taking a special r night ride down part of the Colorado River called, it's a, they call it Canyon Lands by Night. And it's something we've wanted to do for several years now. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, we're gonna go into Arches National Park tomorrow. And we're gonna take you along the, for the ride. This is our Special birthday trip for Mark. <laughs> so, a weekend away just for us. Kids are home taking care of animals and taking care of each other. It's nice having older teenagers that can do those kinds of things. So, so yeah, here we are. We're in traffic because it is the first of two weeks of spring break. So, I know like my kids spring break isn't for another week. Other kids have their spring break this week and it's getting time for, what are some of the things they do down here? What was over Easter weekend? Oh, the Jeep Safari. Oh yeah, the Jeep Safari. They do Jeep Safari. Lots of mountain biking, rock climbing, four wheeling, hiking, um, and, and then the national parks and so it gets really busy this time of year people are ready to be out of winter so they travel south where it's warmer and they can get out of winter so we're gradually making our way into town I made it about halfway to Delicate Arch and then I sent Mark on the rest of the way. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll have to get his video when he comes back down. Um, so I just gotta, I gotta work on working out. And uh, it's okay, I'm proud of myself for what I did. And it's a beautiful place out here. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just waiting for Mark. He should be back soon. And we'll see what he's got. This is... Uh... Mark, Ruth didn't make it up the trail. We are up at the uh, Delicate Arch in Arches National Park. She uh, couldn't quite make it up here all the way, so I'm filming for her. So I'm going to turn around and show you the arch here. This is uh, the world famous Delicate Arch. Uh, if you've never been here, you've probably seen pictures of it before. Here you go. There's the Delicate Arch. Arches National Park. You can see uh, the LaSalle Mountains, Manti LaSalle Mountains in the, actually just the LaSalle Mountains. I think it's Manti, National, Manti LaSalle National Forest, but the LaSalle Mountains in the background in the clouds. So, anyways, there's the arch. So it's, it's 
been fun so far. I didn't make it up to Delicate Arch, but Mark did, and so he got some video for me, and uh, we just stopped at, uh, they have little viewpoints where you can view it from down lower, and so we came over so I could view it, look at it through the binoculars. You know, many of you watch my channel, you know I'm a bigger girl. <laughs> I do struggle with uh, what they call activity-induced asthma, but I think that could be remedied with a little bit of weight loss and, and uh, working out and that kind of thing. However, it's gorgeous here. I don't know if you can see the back here, but pretty, pretty rocks. It is a beautiful day. The sun is shining. I'm in my shirt sleeves, and we're going to go and take some more pictures and videos. We've, we're going to go on some drives. Um, it's just really fun to have this break from homeschooling and to have a break from the animals and to have a break from the kids and just be me and my sweetheart doing some fun things to celebrate. So, uh, yeah, we're going to keep going on this adventure. I highly recommend that if you have a state park or a national park, um, national monument, a state monument in your state or where you live, near where you live, take the opportunities to go see those things. History is a wonderful thing. Uh, geology is a wonderful thing. Nature is a wonderful thing. And there's so much beauty all around us, all over this earth. And uh, what, a, what a blessing to be able to come and see these things and to participate in uh, in something that is free uh, for the most part. <laughs> Gotta pay to get in the park but you know you can consider that a donation for the things that uh, the, the park service does to maintain the park and make sure it is a be beautiful place to continue to come and visit. It's crowded today. This is the first weekend of spring break and there are a lot of people here, but we are having a really great time. 